All right, welcome everybody. We have Elena Markin from Elite Projects and Events BC. How are you doing today, Elena? I'm doing great, thank you. And nice to be on this call. Absolutely, excellent, excellent. So why don't you start off with Elena, what do you guys do? Okay, well, um, I am the owner of Elite Projects and Events BC. Um, and my company does event planning, bartending, and event decor services in the Kamloops and surrounding area. Mm -hmm. uh, so that includes the shoe swap and communities to the north, such as Barrier, uh, Merritt, um, Vernon and Kelowna sometimes. So, uh, so yes, there we go. That's what I do. Awesome. Awesome to hear. And how long have you been running the company for? Uh, so I opened up um, Elite Projects and Events in 2017 mm -hmm. in October. So um, we're just about five years um, wow. old now, mm -hmm. <laughs> past the toddler stages. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible <too. laughs> So, um, so yes, uh, it's been a very, very interesting journey and um, I'm sure. I'm just, I'm just loving it. And we all are loving it. <laughs> Amazing. How many team members do you have on board? Currently, I have two other, well, two other team members for Elite Events BC mm -hmm. and um, three bartenders because we started a new division. Mm -hmm. uh, just recently launched, uh, launched our bartending uh, services. So, um, um, yes, we're growing. <laughs> absolutely, it's absolutely. amazing. I think I think I saw that over on LinkedIn. That seems like a pretty pretty cool um, um, service you you guys are now providing. Yes, yes, it's true, and uh, we're also making it interesting um, for um, um, clients to book right now because we have this new and um, I know I'm probably jumping a little bit ahead, but we have this uh, um, new thing that started up a partnership with. Um, like a talented um, um, musician that plays the violin mm -hmm. that people can actually book us together. Oh, really? um, so wow. the, yeah, so the bartending, um, the bartending and well, if they wanted events, event planning as well, of course, um, but uh, bartending for the cocktail hour because his music is like very um, suitable for that. Mm -hmm. um, so like a two hour cocktail live music is absolutely amazing and it will really bring um, clients events to the ninth. So <laughs> I love that. No, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Um, obviously, being up since 2017, especially being in the events uh, sector, there were probably a lot of changes you guys had to make throughout COVID. Um, what kind of business changes or considerations did you have to make as you moved through the pandemic and COVID and in and out lockdowns and everything? You know, we've always had a pretty good online presence because I, um, I'm quite capable of doing the online things. Um, and uh, I love involving in online, like I'm very social in person and online mm -hmm. when I have time online, of course, because like oftentimes I'm just doing, you know, things for the events like on site or, Absolutely. you know, there's a lot of running around. But um, so that was the good news for us. Um, because we actually still had um, events, although a lot less uh, mm -hmm. during COVID. Um, and um, the one thing that really changed for, for us was um, holding our uh, meetings with clients uh, over the phone and uh, um, virtually. Um, so that was a big change because before that, it felt like most of the time the meetings were in person. Yeah. Um, so um, anyhow, that still continues to this day. Like yeah. even now, most of our meetings are held either over the phone or um, or virtually. Yeah. So, yeah, sure. um, and the other thing that changed is events changed. Just generally, events changed through COVID. Um, we had to be very careful to have regulated events as per Absolutely. what the orders were for um from the government and um um so we had a series of uh, very small 
um, outdoor concerts with social distancing and, um, you know, making sure that everyone is um, was social distancing and there were masks and, you know, so that changed. But I was still pretty happy that we actually did manage to have events. For sure. uh, we also had um, some uh, team building events going on. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, so so we did the fact that um, honestly, I couldn't run my company on full time basis during this time. Um, so it was a little sad, but what can you do? Like the whole world was going through a lot of changes absolutely. and a lot of them were, absolutely. you know, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I actually um, was working for um, a charitable nonprofit organization awesome. uh, where I was planning fundraisers online and uh, working with volunteers during that time. And now I'm back to being a full-time event planner and event owner, and uh, we're launching bartending services. So it's all good. <laughs> amazing. Amazing to hear that. Now, um, uh, you kind of touched on this a little bit, you know, that you guys are still doing virtual meetings with a lot of your clients, stuff like that, just the increased communication and, and ability for that. Were there any other actions that you, you took because of the pandemic that changed the way you do business that have continued now that we're, everything's you know starting to get back to normal here? Um, is there anything that you guys continue to do because you either found it to be more efficient, uh, more, more, more money conscious, more profitable, or just a better way to service your clients through those changes because of COVID? Um, really, that's, probably the only one I can think of right now to be honest yeah uh, we still during events we still um, we are aware that a lot of people may feel uncomfortable with uh, you know like personal contact and things like that so we make sure that um, um, we provide masks and hand sanitizers and handling um, dishes and everything with the plastic like um, disposable disposable gloves and things like that but um, yeah, people should do that anyway. So um, <laughs> after what we went through, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, but um, yes, uh, not 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 much else. Awesome. Um, it was it was much quieter during COVID. Now it's a lot busier. Thankfully, we are a small business, um, so we. Um, um, you know, we have ambitions to grow, but uh, um, we do need the support of the communities, of, of our community and the communities around us um, to keep us going. So we're very thankful that, uh, you know, people are reaching out to us and uh, and booking their events with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, uh, that's something that we've seen as well, even with our own events that we're doing through, through Avid Action Coach. Um, we're seeing now people are, are really like just taking off right now with, with the in-person events and, and going big with them because I think we, we lost them for so long. Everyone's having like withdrawals. They want to get out there. They want to be, you know, networking and communicate with other people. So it's, it's nice. We see that as well. Um, now, here's another question for you, uh, Elena. It might be a little bit of a thinker for you. This is usually a loaded question, but what do you think is one of your biggest learning lessons since you've been a business owner? Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a big question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, one of the things that I've learned since I opened up Lead Projects in Events BC is that I need to follow my own direction in what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, at first, I was very, um, you know, cognizant and checking out other um, businesses, websites, and social media, yeah. and, and, you know, it, it, it sort of gets to you, and it's like, oh, look what they're doing, and mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, I should just stop doing that, Yeah. <laughs> concentrate yeah. on what I want to do, absolutely, <laughs> so, um, so that was, uh, that was one of the things, one of the biggest lessons that I learned, uh, since I started my, uh, since I started my own business, uh, and then the other one, um, probably not very many people talk about this, but um, one of the things is like, you may have been an amazing um, employee or staff member um, at an organization. You may have done so much for them, but when you jump to go on your own, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's a completely different story because you have to build your own reputation. Absolutely. You have to do the hard work to put all the systems in place to make things work, to take that experience and make it your own. And you don't uh, always get um, the same, how should I say, the same support. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a lot of hard work. Um, and honestly, some days, like I'd leave my family two or three hours a day and then I work the rest until 11 and or midnight, you know, to update my website, to do invoicing, to do um, social media or anything like that, to mm -hmm. edit videos, to whatever it is, reaching out to people, building partnerships, what can we do? It's... Um, and that thing um, brings you closer to success. But again, um, it's, it's your own journey now. So um, it's, uh, it's more difficult than more people think. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you, you nailed it on the head. Um, we, we even in Action Coach, we have like journey of, of a person from employee to self-employed all the way up into being an owner. And there's all the roles in between there. And often when you start a small business, you're playing a lot of different roles at once. You're wearing a lot of different hats and, and kind of how you alluded to, you do have to, you know, rebuild the reputation, not only for yourself, but for your business too, right? What your business stands for, how other companies view your business and support it. And those partnerships, you mentioned systems. I love that as well. Building systems are so key for businesses as well. Um, so that is, a, that is a phenomenal learning lesson. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Elena, if anybody uh, from, you know, around BC is looking for event um, planning and, and help with events, what's the best for them to get in touch with you? Um, well, the best way is to really, um, um, we have a website, <laughs> which I update a lot. Yep. <laughs> I'm on it. Um, so it's uh, eliteeventsbc.com. Okay. Um, our services are listed there and there's um, our galleries are quite extensive. I update those very often. Awesome. Uh, we're also on um, social media. Um, uh, my company is on LinkedIn, as you know, yep, yep. <laughs> that's where we connected. Yes, it is. Uh, we're yes, also it is. on Instagram and Facebook and also TikTok now. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we'll throw, we'll yeah. throw all, all your info for your company below in the in the description of the video so that people can reach out to you there if they need if they'd like to absolutely and also they can call as well like my phone number is uh, is all over uh, the website too awesome. or email so uh, 778-220-1879 and you get my friendly voice on the phone <laughs> awesome. absolutely no that's phenomenal now here's the last question elena this one is also a thinker too so if you got to think for a second or mention a few things you're welcome to um, what is most inspiring to you today? Okay, what is most inspiring? Um, honestly, I started with it. It's the bar changing division. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, we're building this up and um, um, we're, you know, that new partnership with the, with Lauren McCausland is, uh, is um, um, gonna probably help with that. Absolutely. But yes, what, uh, that's what's most inspiring um, for, uh, um, for my business right now. But we have a lot of um, uh, things in the works as well. I can't share them yet, <laughs> but they will be, they will be coming up. Um, and also, um, Another one thing that's really inspiring is I love uh, flowers and table decor. Um, so um, uh, flowers and, uh, and doing that always, um, always puts me in a great mood. Um, last time I did it with uh, one of our staff members helped me and I think she liked it too. <laughs> So anyhow, maybe we'll build, we'll build up on that in the future. There's so much going on. It's all inspiring. Me, so it's good. Um, and um, I'm sure that, um, you know, when you keep at it and you follow what your own, you feel your own direction is for your mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. um, you, you will get there. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I love that. That is a phenomenal answer. And it's a great, you know, that overall business growth. That's a great thing to be inspired by. So I love that. 
Thank you so much for the time today, Elaine. I really appreciate it. And like I said, we'll include all your info below in the card so people can get in touch with you for their events. Thank you so much, Jason. And uh, yeah, thanks for the opportunity and have a great day. You too.